Um, how will this phony idea of racism end if white people don't stand up to the blacks and blacks continue to falsely accuse white people being racist instead of taking responsibility for their own failure? Uh, you lost me on your question. Uh, when you say, say that question, what's the question again? How will this phony idea of racism ever end if white people don't start standing up to the blacks and, and blacks are forced to take responsibility for their own failure in life. What do you mean by phony idea of racism? I don't understand. The, the blacks are pretending that their issue, their lack of morality, their lack of family, their lack of love, their lack of believing in God is due to white people. That's... Uh, their inability to create and get jobs and do their thing, they're blaming the white people for it when it's their own failure, they're losers. Well, you and I can end this conversation because that, I don't agree with that. I Why not? That at all. I don't, what, what, I, number one, what you just said, I don't do that. So when you say the blacks, I'm not sure who you're referring to. Most, not all, not all, not all, but most. The ones that are pretending that it's about racism rather than it's about, about the lack of character in most black people. I, I just totally disagree with you. I, I totally disagree with you that the so 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 you're saying that if you walk into a room and someone um, what uh, uh, disparages you or they uh, disregard you or they treat you differently because you're black, you're saying that's your fault. That's the, that's their fault that they're acting that way. But it's your right. fault if you're that insecure that it causes you to overreact. And blacks are very insecure. Nowadays, the, the males and the females. I don't have, I have no idea where you're coming from, sir. I, 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 I just, you, you and I totally disagree, obviously, on this. And so my point would be, if you, if you step on my toe, it's not my insecurity that you stepped on my toe. The reality is that you stepped on my toe. You, you hurt my foot. But and white so, people are not stepping on the toes of black people. They're stepping on mine. How are they stepping they're, on your they're toe? They're stepping on others. There are, door, there are doors that are closed. And, and, and to be honest, and, and praise the Lord, things are changing. They certainly are changing. By and, force, and but great. not by choice. It's I not going to work out for the blacks because they are, they're trying to uh, get justice, mob justice. They're still going to suffer. They're not, it's not going to work out for them, uh, even though white people are running and giving them what they're begging for. Black people don't know how to build. They don't know how to make things better. It's, it's only going to get worse. What category do you put yourself in? I'm sorry? When you said the blacks, the blacks, you're talking objectively. Who, what, 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 uh, what, what category do you put yourself in? You're not in that category? I'm, I'm American. So you're not black? I'm black in color, but my heart is white. Your heart is white? Yes. My sir, sir, I, have, I don't, well, that's not true. Uh, I don't know where our common ground is if you say you're black but your heart is white. Meaning that I'm black how, on the wait, wait, outside wait, wait, wait. How, but how, white how, on the how, inside. How, how, how did you get a white heart? Uh, by repenting for having a dark heart and God renewed my heart and now it's clean. Why, why does your heart have to be black or white? Because anyone that has anger has a black heart, heart but those who have the love of God has a white heart. Why, why is white right and black not right because black is evil and white is not but you just said your fate you are black so that means you're you whatever you say you're still a black man i'm black on the outside but not on the inside and do, inside do, you're white do you you believe racism exists i think bias i think everybody i think racism exists in the sense that in the sense that there are people who will look at you differently. I don't care what color you say your heart is. Look at you differently, respond you differently, give you certain opportunities, open certain, certain doors because you are or because you are not a certain color.
But now for me, I was raised. I don't in know. The nation of I'm, I'm, a, I'm a snuff. No, I don't know, man. I like I said, I'm a. I'm a let it go for the sake of conversation. But yeah. I'm really for the for for the integrity of my channel, and people don't be like, man, you ain't gonna let that go. I don't know if Dr. King would have classified white America as the enemy to black people. I don't I you can't you you're gonna have to bring me something to substantiate that claim you're making, man. I can bring you where all the all the all the evidence would point to the contrary, all the evidence would point that he really was a multiculturalist. He really believed in you know uh egalitarianism to the degree that he tried his best to say that you know this race thing didn't affect social interaction with, with 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 white people that they weren't naturally an enemy and i challenge that i think white people are naturally the enemy of melanated people <laughs> of the earth and every fucking thing they come in contact with i can concur with you talking about us at the same time even without being putting the race card in there um i don't know about the natural what you talk about what is natural? Because in order to say that it's natural, that means you have to study something in its natural state. And you haven't been nowhere to study nobody in their natural state prior to your interaction with them. So in order I, I, for you I, I, so for, I in order for us history, to and we have the luxury, we have the benefit of history. You have to understand I'm a revolutionary and we use material dialectics and historical dialectics. I have the uh I don't want to say luxury. But I have the uh, evidence of history that anywhere that the white man has been, he has been disagreeable, destructive, and that's, that's any, uh, that's any conqueror. Established themselves as the ruling class. That's any conqueror. You're not saying nothing, no different from any other Absolutely. conqueror. Even prior to, and that's even what prior I'm to, you. The, the, even prior to European saying. going I'm to the continent, the white man's, the white man's nature. Thing. I'm saying the white man's nature is to conquer and not to live harmoniously. That's the point I'm making. You're right. That's any conquer. We're in a patriarchal civilization or society where you found men living harmoniously. Where, where, in, where is it in, even in written where men live somewhere where they wasn't getting down with each other? That's what who, patriarchal, who writes, that's what happens who in a patriarchal history? Civilization who writes society. history? Men fight each other for dominance. Who writes history? Who writes history? The conqueror. Hey, uh, well, no, no, who writes history? The so, it, it comes from it's exactly. written from the view so that's of whoever. why you won't find the the harmonious lifestyle in mainstream history. They're not going to let you know that is possible. The conqueror. Where do you see that? Where do you history. see a sign of that right now? Living. Anywhere, where's the sign of that among any people right now? Where, where's the sign of it? Where's the sign of men getting together, living in harmoniously, and women are treated yeah. as equals, and all this yeah, kind of yeah, beautiful yeah, utopia, yeah, yeah, it, fantasy delusion of stuff? This is this is this is the white, this is the fight against white supremacy. So that no, I understand white supremacy, but I also understand. Tell because, delusion because, and lies and fantasy. Because it is intentional, it is deliberately being disturbed by a Tell by me. a by a exploit by an exploded by an ex um exploit I mean, exploit by right. an exploited who are these tribes? system who are that these is people? enforced by violence, brother. Who are these right. people? Who is this tribe that's living this holy and righteous and All get right. along life? Who are these you people? Where, where is it at? You say, what do you say? Where is this utopia anywhere Hold in on. history? Hold where, on. where is it at? It's Hold not killing Both of y'all. Heard on Angel. Both of y'all, Yanga and Anup, y'all Y'all made me get out the gavel. Y'all made me goddamn go old school the arena. Uh, Both of y'all. I'm gaveling. I, I, I have a question. Us. I have yeah. another question. Let me first, but let me, I don't want to, I think Shay may have. Shay, did you have a question or something? Comment, question. 
Um, is it possible to have dual citizenship in other states? Hey, I don't know. I, 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 I never. I don't think. I don't think. I never. I, I don't think nobody ever tried. But I guess you. I guess you could do that if you. If if this. I, I don't know if, if it's possible. I mean, I, if you can have dual citizenship in different countries, why you can't have dual citizenship in different states? That's, that's I don't think nobody. Even, I don't even sorry. think nobody even tried it. I don't even think nobody ever tried um, it. So it, it's something new. Uh, let me let let me. So here's my question: With all that you're saying, what's the difference between what you're saying and the provisional government for the Republic of New Africa? The only difference is that you have to crawl before you can walk. If you cannot secure this one geographical area and gain power, I'm not talking about living in living in some in some areas and living the way that we do now. We just the, the mayors and we're just the the the, the all the people. No, I'm talking about we want the governor house. That's what I want. I want the governor house. When you go to, to Alabama, we want the governor house. So That's I mean, what, 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 what are you proposing? Here's, here's, I guess here's what I'm asking. What are you, because the Republic of New Africa, we know what they're proposing. We know what the end game is. What are you proposing? Are you proposing that, uh, because here, this is good. This is a good conversation because here we talk about the two nationalisms. One, yeah. Some people say this is pragmatic nationalism that as long as black people are in control anywhere, whether it be within uh, the confines of another government, as long as we're in control of that, that's black nationalism. That's a form of pragmatic black nationalism. Then you got what they call, like I said, strong black nationalism said, no, at the end of the day, the end game has to be separation. So what I'm saying, I'm, I'm hearing this. What is the end game that we own Mississippi and then from Mississippi we fight to annex and own Mississippi and then from Mississippi we begin to get other states? I don't know about the future because what you're, what you're describing is something that's probably futuristic because you never know what might happen in the world and you put yourself in a position where you're already in a position to claim your piece of the pie, so to so speak. So what are you? So what are you prescribing? If if what you're because what you're talking, you do know what you're talking about. Angel Snub Nup is future, right? I mean, anything is future. Are you saying not that far ahead in the future? I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking uh, about. But, I mean, that so you're talking of... future. What? Where is this step going? If I say okay, yeah, and all our people pack up to move to Mississippi. Well, first what of all, I didn't is, ask nobody to move to Mississippi. I, I did not say that. We're not moving to no Mississippi. That's not what it's about. Missi if we take Mississippi, I mean, what is the what is the goal? What is the objective? What's the end game? The first, what are we the, trying the, to accomplish the, in this in this project? The first thing that you're trying to accomplish in this effort, this first step effort, is to simply gain the benefits and the rights that you, you should have anyway as an American citizen. No more, no less. Now, again, there's a difference. There's a difference in what you're trying to do. Are you really trying, do you really want to try to create a, a black nation or, or a black organization? Because the people here are, are diverse. If you don't, in order for this to that's, happen. That's, no, no, no. Snub, nub. It's not what we're trying to do. It's what it, because you you have the proposal, you have the plan. It's right. what is I'm, your, I'm your proposal question. and plan taking us as a people? If we're sitting down, we're saying, okay, you know, our brother Snuff Nuff has this plan. Let us listen to it uh, from conception to completion, from beginning to end. I heard the the inception. I heard how you got it. I hear the process. Where is it taking me, though? What's the end game? It's just like like Charles Blow was saying in his book. And this is what I've grown to know. Prior to the prior to uh, or after the Civil War, and of course, they took the troops out of the South. Our ancestors was doing what I'm talking about anyway. The only thing they was doing was living, living as an American citizen in this country. 
and they were building their small towns, building their small cities, taking different offices. They were just living their life as an American citizen. And they were successful. That's why it was necessary to form the Ku Klux Klan and all these other terrorist organizations and make all these different laws to stop them. And they did stop them, cause them to run to the north, run east, run whatever, and stop their progress. What would have happened had they left them alone? We would be in control just naturally, just like it's natural for those Mexicans and all those people in California. They just naturally put themselves in a position. Next thing you know, they're going to control New Mexico mm -hmm. and they're going to control California and, and, and those states that just naturally just living their life. That's all I'm saying in this effort to put yourself in a position because nobody's going to do this for you except you. So you got to take, mm -hmm. you know, so you got to take you your destiny in your own hand and, and gain the rights that you have anyway as a, as a citizen. And then you take the same thing because everything that you're doing is legal under the United States of America. You're not no terrorist that, organization. That, okay, so that's what I'm saying. So yeah. empower ourself. We, we do this and we use Mississippi as a tool to empower ourselves politically and, and, and economically Yes. As citizens? Yes. Okay, that's what we disagree then. Okay, I just wanted to know because what that's we what you are. I don't, you know, I mean, that's what we are. I mean, we can, you can claim, you can, whatever. Brother, you, Tom, I don't know listen, what, what, I'm sorry, what, damn, did I piss on your 4th of July uh, barbecue? You got very animated then. I'm sorry no, if I don't is, accept, a, a, accept a, hypo, a hypocritical uh, so-called uh, uh, citizenship, and I don't believe that no, my, no measure of reform will ever give me mastery or power in a corrupt system. I just don't believe it, brother. And there's no amount of, uh, of passion or vigor you put in your voice that will ever give me to buy into that. That's you what don't I have want to buy. It's not about buying into anything. It's the reality of what we're dealing with day in and day out. Well, Go back I, to my black son. Can I speak? Because I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm I'm That's right. What's going on, Nandi? This shit is crazy. I never thought I would see so many of my people romanticizing the fuckery. Let's start with 1968. Civil rights movement, they had to sign those rights. So what? There were sunset clauses on them. The civil rights movement expired in 1970. What the fuck did a nigga gain from that? Not a goddamn thing. We were already civil. We didn't need Michael Phelps for that. They had dogs, billy clubs, prisons, huh. all type of shit. And this bullshit government that I'm about to get on next that niggas believe in. Mm -hmm. We didn't need mm -hmm. We didn't want to be equal to the white man. How could we That's be equal right. to the white man? Them right. motherfuckers was eating dogs, smelling <laughs> like shit. Eating each other. They didn't clean up their own house, <laughs> running around stealing our women and children. We wouldn't want to be equal to that type of bullshit, the fuckery. We weren't equal to the motherfuckers when they started messing with us. Right. We had full flesh control. And they were taking not only our knowledge, but our people and learning from us. So what the fuck did we need to be equal to? We wanted the rights to go back to being who the fuck we were before we were bothered. And I think that that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people keep forgetting. So fuck Michael King. Now we talking about dual citizenship. Let me explain that since we on laws. You don't need dual citizenship for Mississippi and California because those are states. And we yep. are in the United States of America. So if the states are already united, what the fuck do you need dual citizenship for? Make it make sense. Now, let's roll the tape forward. Take over Mississippi. <clears throat> what difference does it make? When you just gonna become day nigga and you're gonna have to follow mm -hmm. your oath and you're gonna be getting that federally funded money and you will switch sides like motherfucker switch dresses when RuPaul come on the goddamn stage. 
just so you can eat with the white man, what the fuck do we need to be taking over? States. We want full-fledged territory. Take y'all motherfuckers back to the cave. And anybody want to be a cave nigga with you? Take them goddamn chimpanzees with you. We got some monkeys out here. Mm. We got some gorillas. But we also got some orangutans and some chimpanzees that will bounce and laugh their motherfucking way, cooning like a goddamn fool just to get to the top. We know. We got some Booker T. Washingtons, some William O'Neill's. We got some goddamn Isaiah Montgomery's. We got a whole lot of them. But let's learn from the examples. You know why those names are mentioned? For some people, they're to be idled. They took over a whole state. A place like Mount Bayou. It's some of the same places that y'all are talking about taking over today. Like Brother Yanga said, it's been done before. But just like we had that corny ass niggas then that sold out to the white man, took the goddamn funding, didn't tell the black people in the whole mm. black community that we had been sold out and fucked over. Same shit will happen today. That's it. Facts. That's it. Facts. So, Angel, how do we safeguard against what Nundi just said? Because she said a lot. Well, first of all, respect to Sister Nandy. <laughs> I like Sister Nandy. She's all right. Uh, she's a very intelligent person. Very logical, rational thinking person. Hell yeah, she be making plain what I be trying to say. She came on and said everything I said. But go ahead, my bad. Go ahead, break it down. Yeah, well, this that, and, and and I I cannot say that what is being said is not true. However, it doesn't make any difference. You can't stop somebody from selling you out. I don't care how militant you think that you are or whatever. A person can be with you, you think your blood brother, and they'll turn on you. I mean, that's just something that we can't, I mean, you can't do that. They'll sell you off for money. They'll sell you off for jealousy and envy. I mean, so that's something that all of us going to have to deal with. Well, I think anyway. what she means by sellout, I think what she means by sellout is looking for some type of uh, freedom in, like she said, in citizenship. In politics, you put your position. We put ourselves in a position to be motherfucking bought and sold. Mm -hmm. At the no, end of the no, day, no, 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 the only you, you want to be no, you want to be bought and sold because that's what you chose to do. But we're not that's what I just said, control. brother. We're not that's, 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 that's what I just snuffed up. Right. Listen, right. you right. trying to argue with me so bad, you saying the same shit I'm saying. That's what I okay. just said. Right. Go ahead, right. go ahead, Nani. Go ahead, Nani. Yeah, so let me say this though. No, no. What I mean by that, I mean, like, when you already, this is what I say about people who are reformists. That's why we got to be careful. When you're a reformist and you actually believe that in a system that has been designed and critiqued to keep my people on the plantation, and it doesn't include the real niggas versus their coney niggers in their system any goddamn way when it comes to making change. So if you can advocate that, if you can even put yourself in a position of dealing with their contractual agreements, their mm -hmm. underlining techniques, breaching of the bribery acts and all the anti-foreign um, agreement acts and so many different acts, and then you come back talking about constitutions and shit, you just another house nigga. Yeah, and it house yeah. nigga. Mommy. You were on the street revolutionary, mm -hmm. and now that you think you in the house, look at that too much goddamn spook on the, the spook behind the door. You done got in the house, and then I gave you all the oaths where you gotta honor the queen and every goddamn body else. So now you they house nigga. So yeah. if you put us in a position to even follow that and enter ourselves into that same position, then what benefit of us taking Mississippi or anything we have for the people? That's what we want mm -hmm. you to explain. Right. And Nandi, to that point, they make you sign a paper that literally says that you will not be convicted of all these crimes. Malfeasance is one of them. Bribery is another one. 
it's like 10 different crimes that they make you sign whenever you run for political office. You have to get on the ballot, even as a writing, and you still got to let them know you're doing something. So they make you sign this paper before you even get on the ballot for whatever state, local uh, constitution for office they're applying for. And uh, they, they do exactly that. They sell us out, sell us down the drain. They don't want to bring no resources to us, but they're too busy splurging with the whites. Right. So we have to be examples of what not to be, especially on these platforms. We're talking black nationalism. This isn't in the mainstream. So we're hella radical, all of us on this panel. And I appreciate it because I love these kind of chats. You ain't gonna know. Um, yeah. Thank you, Nandy, for joining us. Um, but what it boils down to is we need power. But let me say this, and I don't mean to cut you off because I got a little work on my debate. I just heard a few things and I'm like, okay, <laughs> we got to talk to our people. You know, when we talk about power, I never hear anybody talking about the Federal Reserve Chairman. The Federal Reserve Chairman, the outside government that runs, owns, and actually controls. You ain't, huh? you ain't finna do me like that. No, you not finna, listen, you must got another 30, 40 minutes. You not finna drop, you don't want <laughs> to talk about it because we don't know about it. You not finna drop that shit and then jump off here, have people coming up here want to talk about it and I don't know what the exactly. hell going on. You must go spend about 30, 40 minutes with us. Right. You're going to drop it, but you're going to have to answer questions. You're going to have to be committed. Nandy, you drop it, you're going to have to be committed to it. Hey, yeah, I'm going to do that shit all the time. Right. You can do that at hey, meetings and shit. You do that. Oh, uh, yes, Jeremy. Can we talk about the such and such and such and such? Then go off and do something else. Motherfuckers <laughs> asking me questions. I'm like, oh, well, all right. So, uh, um, I don't see why we don't look at the things that change the way we live. Even when there were so-called ways of us being free, the Federal Reserve Chairman, the federal organization, what we call the IRS, is what's controlling the world. They make your money. They taking your money. They control your jobs. They control your spending. They control your children. They control your mama. They control the schools. They control the hospitals. The feds got fiat currency floating all the way the fuck around America like never before. Inflation is at its finest. I heard a nigga say today fiat currency was worth something. Country dumbass nigga, how the hell paper worth something? When you can rip it or drop it in some goddamn bleach and it's gone. <laughs> and ain't the goddamn thing. Shout out to the debate, man. It's by the government. So, okay, it's bad by the government. That means National Guard gonna pull up with their ratchets and shit and make sure you give them their goddamn cut or they take all what you don't work hard for. So, my house right. to you because I didn't want to give you 10% of my shit. One thing that I did study very closely about Donald Trump, and it's something that people should pay attention to, he's never, out of all of the shit, so-called indictments and stuff, been penalized, arrested, or anything taken for tax evasion. Hmm. But he's the only president that spoke about he never paid taxes. His family never paid taxes. Nobody ever asked why. Because the federal government and the Federal Reserve Chairman is a private entity that only you can enter into a contractual agreement with. So when niggas running and filing their taxes every year, <laughs> that's how they keep up with you. That's mm -hmm. the first guy like you enter with your income tax. Then mm -hmm. you're going to run down and you got a job. Now they ask you the first thing they're going to do before you can work for them is, can you fill out this tax form? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to know if you exempt or if you got some dependents. This is the contractual agree. It's a side contract mm -hmm. from the job. Yep. But when you owning and controlling everything without the federal government, now let's just say we had Mississippi without it. Mm. We decide what the currency is. Mm. We decide the value. We decide if we want to hold people's motherfucking state taxes and federal taxes and their medical taxes and we just want to withhold the 501. All of that shit right there will be cut out because it's all connected to the Federal Reserve. Mm. And one false move on one of them payments, they coming to take your whole life. 
Mm. So nobody, it was always talking about freedom and we need to get broke from this and broke from that. The president, again, KRS one told you that motherfucker like the manager at Burger King. Yep. <laughs> so we want to holler at the franchise owner, which is the Federal Reserve Chairman. He, this motherfucker, and the president elects the Federal Reserve Chairman. Well, like KRS one even taught him, and you can do your own research after that. That's who run every goddamn thing, because the government cannot be ran without a major accountant, which is the Federal Reserve Chairman. The contract between them and the government, United States, is, okay, you give us all this fiat currency, and we'll let you keep up with it. That, mm. that ain't even worth the paper it's printed on. The dollar's like 13% right now. It's not lower. They burn millions of it every day. So that mean they don't care. If it was worth it, I guarantee you this. They ain't burning no motherfucking gold and shit every day. They might be making bars, coins and shit so they can store it. But they not doing that. They got armor trucks full of this shit that they just set on fire and turn it into ashes. Because it ain't worth a damn thing. They don't want it to pile up. They just using it as a game. We going to fuck the black people. Because they think when they got these blue notes, everything Gucci, while we sitting over here getting all the goddamn gold. And like H. Rap Brown told us years ago, once we flip this shit over, when they hit Bitcoin or when we say goddamn, you know, we you can't go to Corpus unless you got some rocks. We need you to have all black rocks. Like H. Rap Brown said, niggas ain't going to even pay to eat. Because they don't know that they commodity from fiat. They don't know the, the real from the fake. And this is what they finna do right now. That's why they taking it so out of our hand. Moving the money so out of our hand. And they take states. What we gotta do is quit begging. These motherfuckers ain't bought nothing. Why we gotta go? And we ain't taking nothing right because they didn't take nothing in our government that was established. They took shit and formed their own goddamn government and put us in it. Facts. Mm. Yeah, that's why they take it to that so out of our hand. Moving the money so out of our hand. And they take states. What we gotta do is quit begging. These motherfuckers ain't bought nothing. Why we gotta go? And we ain't taking nothing right because they didn't take nothing in our government that was established. They took shit and formed their own goddamn government and put us in it. Facts. To my damn states, many niggas don't fought. They took countries, I mean, took states and little cities. Let's talk about Rosewood, Black Wall Street. We've been doing that, but look what them motherfuckers do because it's their government. So, what they gonna do? Right, right. Come take all our shit. Uh uh, not until we got the power to tell them what currency is. We ain't in no position to be talking about taking a damn thing. Mm. Mm. So we gotta give us the licenses and the land, and we gotta go over here and make sure you know uh, Trump ain't gonna get upset if we fly too many red, black, and green flags. And that's the rules and regulations. We can have Mississippi, but we don't want to see nothing referenced in Marcus Garvey. I think that's the point. Mm. You know. I think that's the point for the revolutionary is to push these motherfuckers into a fight. Push these motherfuckers so bad when they just got, got that dynamic and they just can't take it no more. You know. Uh, yep. But you were dropping. Let me say this too. Let me say this, man. Shouts out to SVDL uh, uh, Solar Division Debate League. It's debaters and everybody. Send a shout out to his commissioner. So that shouts out as a debater in the league, my my endorsing the league and all its debaters. Now, on to personal. Ah, my man was robbed. My man was fucking robbed. Oh, I shit. did not oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. The, the post-debate show where I can figure out what the fuck happened with the scoring. Wow. Oh, man, come on. Boo. 
shit. Boo. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. Man. Let's get to it. Let's get you to know, it. Shit. That's, y'all know that's, I've been that's, waiting. that's on the personal note. You know, still support shit. the league. You know, um, I'm hoping what it is is just a matter of the new judges working out the kinks. You know, uh, uh, getting there. Yeah, how getting long there, we got to wait for the kinks to be worked out? How long we got to wait for the no. kinks to be worked out, brother? Because because the deadline for the goddamn playoffs is April. How long we got to wait for the kinks to work out, brother? Well, we shall see after the post-debate show. Okay. I'm sure a few people have some things to say. I'm sure Strap is going to challenge some shit. He better. He better. Shout out to Strap. He better. Shout out. That, 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 um, um, yeah, I thought Strap won that. I'm just going to keep it real, brother. And that's not on no malice towards the other debater. But, yeah, I, I thought Strap was very professional. And considering he ain't debated in well, two I years. The malice on the other debater. Fuck that fat ass nigga. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go.